Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to. I just scared all the birds, didn't I, Bandra? I scare everything. Where's that? You think that's a good? That's a that's a call. Shoo shoo. Shoo shoo. You like that or no? No. Real. <laughs> He's not about it. It's too early. Banjo's cranky this morning. But look at it. We've got all sorts of stuff going on right now. Uh, basically, that being uh, fog. Uh, we are at the farm. We are gonna try to do a little bit of dove hunting today. Uh, dove hunting is something I've done a couple times in my entire life. Uh, I don't really know much about it. I think Banjo's pretty much had the same experience. And pool jets never shot a dove. But we figure we come out to the farm. We've got corn. We've got some sunflowers. We've got some power lines. We got trees. I mean, yeah, I think that's what doves like. I'm not really sure. But if you guys want some ducks waterfowl gear, I will leave a link down in the description down below and you can use promo code FLAIR to get 10% off. And we are running a 48 hour special right now for a super sick t-shirt. I'll pop up a picture here. So if you guys want that t-shirt, it's available for only the next 48 hours and then it is gone for good. So if you guys want that shirt, click the link down below and make sure you use promo code FLAIR to get 10% off your entire purchase. Excited. Shoo, I'm you're, loaded. I'm you're, ready to go. Where are they at? I don't know, I'm looking at the sunflower. They're not on it. They're not on the sunflower the grind, one. huh? Yeah, it's, I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. This is probably, you know, there's there's like a 50% chance this video is one of those things where we film like half of it and we're like, yeah, let's just go home. Sleep, no. uh, and then half, and then half of it's like we we limit out. We shoot one, and then Kay. we just cook a bunch of other food. Like you think desserts. that's you so think? That's probably what we'll do. You think so? All right. Well, we're gonna get strapped up, I guess. Get some boots on. You look like you're ready. Um, I was woken up early. For right? Yeah. <laughs> you never shot a dove though, have you? How many times have you been dove hunting? Handful. Of times. Me, yeah, me too. I think I well, one time I actually shot like nine. Not me, nine. Not me personally, but I went with some buddies and shot ninety of them. That was like three years ago. I made a YouTube video about that. What, so what do you, what's the strat? We got some spinners. We need to get those spinners hooked up. Yeah. Did you bring your dove call? Yeah, I heard it's like a, it's a whistle. I actually watched some kid do it the other day. I, I'll have to watch it. It's a whistle. Man. Nobody calls doves. No, we're gonna call the doves in banjo. Yeah, it's a whistle. Yeah. yeah he's See, he's a good it. blower. So we we're good. Well, we're gonna kill some birds today. So you guys stay tuned. They landed right here. I've never seen that before in my life. All right, banjo, what's the move? Should we move the truck out of the way and like just set up here? Yeah, I was behind it. it was really? Fast. We were we were no, waiting for. Right the uh, sun to come up a little bit and the fog run off and they literally landed next to the truck while we've got a spinner on. All right. Spinners work. They <laughs> I mean, it landed five feet from me. Yeah, I know. I was over there looking. All right, well, let's move the truck and get to hunting. Well, Banjo called him in, I think. We got set up here. We're at this is so like unconventional. We're literally gonna use the excavator as our blind, essentially. So Banjo, he called him in real nice like, but what we do is- uh, I was whistling. Were you whistling? Yeah. Our setup is these guys right here. Here's all of our spinners. Um, this is this is my property. Like the basically the house that used to be here is right over there. But oh, there's one right here. Come, come here. Okay, as I was saying, uh, basically set out in the middle here. We were messing around right here with the truck parked here, and they landed right there. This way, they can see us pretty much 360 from all the power lines and trees and stuff. And we're just gonna wait for them to fly over. Got him. <laughs> I got him, Banjo. Look at this. It's snowing out here, son. Let's go, baby. Shoo. <laughs> we did it. Look at that guy. Oh, yeah. That's lunch right there, son. Well, I'm thinking we might we might move here. This is actually really good. We've got corn on one side. This is the, the berm for the pond, for the duck pond. We haven't really done much with it for a while, but he landed right here. So I would assume that's a good thing. I say we put our decoys here, and we just sit back in this corn and... Uh, See what happens. Well, folks, Banjo, what happened? I thought you, I thought you were dialed. I told you you'd shoot one dove and then yeah, you did. You see, you jinxed us. You said I would shoot one and then we go cook other food. We originally set up over there. We got our decoys there, and then the sun came up. And we got blinded by the light, so we came over on this side and have yet to see a dove. I hear it there's, a, there's a crow. I think that's not crow season, but I don't, I don't know where the doves are. Would you quit? I'm trying to take a drink. Vodka or what? What's in that? Sweet tea from Canes. Yeah, it isn't. Oh, is it really from yeah. Canes? <laughs> you bougie. Little jug. <laughs> Probably bought a jug. Who actually yesterday. buys for that? I feel like that. Banjo, he's the only Is one. it not the best sweet tea though? It's pretty good sweet tea. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. Yeah. Well, I just want to give you guys a quick update. I might just start walking around the farm here and see what I can find. I don't really know. The fog isn't burning off though. I'll tell you that. Like, it's, I mean, it's it's supposed to be daylight now. It looks like we're still sitting in a cloud. So I'm blaming the fog on the late flight. You, you agree? I think that's. I think we suck. Sure. Oh, okay. Now, what do you think? You're a big dove guy. You've killed a lot of them, I think. Yeah, I've seen a lot in my time. You know? Really? I think you know it's something to do with. Yeah, I got nothing. I don't really? Know. What okay. kind of dove is that that we killed today? Oh, the old gray one. Is it a morning or a night dove? I don't think there's. That's a thing. Really? You don't think so? I don't think so. Is you that might a need thing? to do some research. Really? I think you need to do research. You don't know. That's all I got for you. All right. Well, hopefully we get another one. All right. So we see five doves. 
on a power line. Can't shoot on the power line. But Banjo's gonna walk. Banjo's gonna walk that way. I'm gonna walk through the corn. If they get up and fly over me, I can shoot. If they fly to the right towards our spinning wings, Banjo can shoot. And so we're gonna see if we can get them. I think if I can get close, they'll fly to him. They might fly that way, but if they get up and see our spinners, I think they're gonna go that way. They're, they're all gone. What? Dude, they're all gone. What do you mean they're all gone? They're not there. They must not have went towards Banjo because he didn't shoot. Well, that plan didn't work. One coming right behind you. What is that? That's a Delph. Ready? Okay. Yep. 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 Got him. Got him. Wow, we got lucky. We were sitting, we were walking out trying to figure out what to do. Banjo thinks we should move the spinners and literally like 10 doves laying on the power line and we were thinking about how to approach them. And the banjo's like, behind you. Turned, smoked them. It's number two. Now that the, the fog's burning off a little bit, it's definitely easier to see them. They like that power line though. So I think we're gonna move our spinning wing set up somewhere over this way. But we got number two right here. Oh yeah. Right there, baby. Bony apple feet, it's about to be fire. You've never had dove, have you? No. Cool, John. <sighs> Filet mignon, baby. Well, we move spots. Four spot, this is the charm or something. But we're gonna kinda hang out around this power line. That's where everything seems to go. We're gonna stand in the corn and hope for the best. Literally. Yes, Banjo! There go. Right there, I got it marked. Go okay. ahead. I got it marked. Add a kid. Got it. got it. First dove of the year. I don't shoot many doves. They're so small. Yeah. It's gonna taste good though. Hey, we got three now, son. Shoot! Oh, I contributed. Good. It's gonna be, yeah, you contributed to the lunch factor. Well, we're right now we're standing in the middle of a cornfield. It's so ran, like they're so random. Like dove hunting. Oh, there's two. Is there two doves or were those tweeties? No, there was, they were far out. They were kind of coming, but I lost them in the corn. Really? I'll keep watching. You keep vlogging. Oh, I'm vlogging. I'm used to duck hunting where like you can kind of predict the birds. This is literally like, you're. we're standing here talking about God knows what. We're here for like 40 minutes. And then Banjo just pulls the trigger and we got a bird. Doesn't really make sense, but hey, that's three down. Yeah, you got it. Ew, that thing looks gross. What do you mean, ew? Look at it. It's like a donut. Man, it's breakfast champions. It looks like milk toast like you right now. What do you mean, guys? It fits on point. <laughs> the white socks, like, it just yells like dad. I'll take my son to T-ball later. You know what I mean? Okay. Gotta stay Anyways, it's hot. Man, it got hot. No birds are flying no more. Fans just sky busted all of them, so they're out. But we got three. We're gonna take them home and eat them for lunch. I'm thinking poppers, jalapeno, bacon, cream cheese, dove. It's basically the filet mignon of the sky. So, see you guys back at home. Shoo! We're back home, folks. You, you, you shot one dove. How'd that go? Yeah. Uh, I missed a couple. Just right there, bud. Uh, we can't get our... Nice shirts dirty. Oh yeah. Can't can't dirty the ducks merch. Can't be getting that dirty. If you guys want any of that, be a link down below. But here we go. This is what we're dealing with. Right there. We've got three doves. One, two, three. So we are gonna go a little bit bougier than our last catch and cook here. We've got some several ingredients. Most importantly, we got ducks all meat seasoning. This will be linked down below if you guys wanna go check it out. You can get ten percent off by using promo code flavor. You can put it on pretty much any meat and it tastes really, really good. And then we've got cream cheese. And then we've got jalapenos. And then we've got bacon. So, we're gonna make poppers. If you guys don't know what those are, here's how you make it. We're gonna start off with a jalapeno. Cut it right down the middle. Ooh, how do you like that, man? Do you like that? Good. And then you're supposed to cut this part out. I think, do you use a spoon for this? Yeah. Easy. You ever just eat these by itself, like full? You're not gonna do it. You won't. You don't like spicy stuff. Really? Right? You don't think I will? Nah, you got it. That, you're gonna regret that one. All right, so Banjo's gonna be in a world of hurt here in a minute, but make sure you scrape the seeds out. You don't want it to be too hot. Yeah, how's that going for you? You like that? It's hot. <laughs> Thank God. All right, so go ahead and Buddy's out. Basically, Buddy's out for the count for the day. Oh, I got the hiccups. Oh no, he's got hiccups out the gate. Oh, out the gate! Buddy's toast, I don't know why you even did that. All right, oh God. Banjo, you, you might as well just go quit. You might as well just go lay down for the day. No, I got this. A little water. <laughs> a little water. You got it? You good, buddy? All right, so take your seeds out. Oh my gosh, he, he ate a jalapeno hole and he's dying out there. Cut this out. I'll show, I'll just do one and then we'll make some more just to kind of make this fast for you guys. So take them out, brush these seeds off, okay? Then you're gonna wanna take your cream cheese and you're gonna wanna fill this with cream cheese, just like that. Fill the cavity with the old cream. This will help cool down the heat that Banjo just experienced. But I also took the seeds out, which is definitely gonna help as well, okay? Then you're gonna take your dove, and since the dove is so small, we could honestly probably pack two, well, eh, eh, maybe. Let's cut a big chungus one in half, just like that. Tuck it in for bed. Then you're gonna get a little blankie and really tuck it in for bed. So take your bacon, and then you're gonna wrap this guy up. Just like this. Wrap it all up in bacon, and I mean, we don't even need to put toothpick through it. I thought I was gonna need toothpicks. So there you go. How's that going? Good. Your eyes look good. 
Really? Yeah. yeah. You sad? What's wrong? <laughs> who, who hurts your feelings? I'll go beat him up right now. There you go. That is your Dove Jalapeno Popper. We're gonna go ahead and make the rest of these guys, but that's how you make it. And we're gonna throw them on the old girl. You guys stay tuned. Shee! He's hot, boys. I got milk. I'm better now. I'm really? back. I'm better than ever. What temperature do you do this at? I'm throwing it at 350. I usually cook hotter, but I want these peppers to be a little bit uh, softer, I guess. Bacon won't be probably crispy, but we're thinking probably 10, 15 minutes. I threw a little seasoning on the meat, and then also, as you can see, just a little bit on top. A little extra flavor, so. Directly onto the grill, there you go. Oh, oh, oh yeah. All right, well, shut that guy and uh, check on about 10 minutes. This guy, these guys are looking good. Bacon's not super crispy, but that's what you get on a grill. I mean, if you want it super crispy, you gotta, you know, you gotta just basically char it after the fact. But I think it'll be good. The bacon's still cooked, it's just not super crispy. But I cut one open just to make sure we're not getting the same with vanilla. I mean, it's gonna be good. So let's actually, let's eat it out here, Banjo. Sure. You on that? You on that you, hey. What is that dog doing? Hey. She wants to eat the poppers too. She yeah. says, hey, this is my seat. All right, let's try them. Well, what do you think? Excited? I say you, I say you eat big chungus. I'll go for little chungus. Just want me to have more pepper, huh? Uh-huh. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. A bacon cook? Mm-hmm. Pepper is still a little bit on the crunchy side. Not bad. I just want I just want to taste the dove a little bit. He's going straight dove. Mm. Is that the Pretty dove? Good. Yeah. Really? That cream cheese. The cream cheese is good. It makes it. It's, it's, it's really hard to get the bacon crispy, the meat not overcooked, and the pepper tender. Pretty tough to do. If you really wanted to, I've seen people, they, they cook the bacon separately. Like cook it like you would fry bacon. They throw the peppers in there, cook the peppers down, then throw the cream cheese, the meat, having the meat a little bit less done. Finn, what are you doing there, buddy? Having the meat like just cooked medium rare, cook the bacon and then wrap it. And then, you know, you can throw on the grill for a few minutes. It's just, you've got a lot going on. If you want the bacon crispy, you gotta cook it really hot. If you cook it hot, you're not gonna cook the pepper. If you want the pepper cooked, you gotta cook it at low. And then your bacon's not gonna get cooked all the way. I think you did good though. But it wasn't bad. I haven't made these in, in quite some time. I forget how good Dove is, because I don't have Do it very yeah, much. Yeah, we, I mean, I haven't shot a Dove in a couple years, I don't think, but. So you can see, it's got the cream cheese, the meat, bacon, and pepper. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh, hey! Mm -hmm. was, that, was that a shoey? Is that a beer? Oh yeah, that's a deer that's right a there. That's a beer. Ooh, that's hot. Is that sign language? <laughs> That was good. Goodness, that's hot. That's good pepper though. Mm -hmm. I like that pepper. Really? That's not really spicy at all. Like you'd honestly think it's a bell pepper. Yeah, it's not spicy at all. Well, not, this this no, way it's yeah, not. not like cooked and everything. Yeah, but yeah. With the seeds. Yeah, it's a little, 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 little bit spicy. spicy. Oof, going in for another one. Mm. That's the deal. Yeah. It, it's worth it to make the extra effort with the pepper and the cream cheese. So you bacon wrap it. We've done that for duck hunting and stuff, but throwing that little extra effort into getting the jalapeno in there, maybe leave a little bit more seeds next time, make it a little spicier. I'm not really getting yeah. much heat out of it. Uh, so I mean, and texture. the cream cheese kind of dulls it down just a little bit, so maybe leave a little bit next time, but it's pretty good. Full jet, you excited? You ever, sure. had, you ever had dough? No. Really? We're, we're going for this guy. Ooh, it, is, it is a little, little warm. A little steamy? Maybe That's not. fine. You like it? That's good. Mm -hmm. Is it hot or no? Mm -mm. No, it's pretty good. You don't really taste much of the dove, though. You know, like you're not like, oh, that's dove. Like, you just taste like pepper, bacon, cream cheese, a little bit of meat. But to be honest with you, yeah, it didn't taste any dove. No, no, it doesn't really taste like dove. No, not one bit. It's one of those like if you guys enjoy like the taste, which I do, I enjoy the taste of dove. You're not gonna get that out of this, but it's it is really a, good, it's a really delicious way to prepare it. Um, especially like you know, you get tailgate and season going. Like these are you know they're kind of a, a party meal. What are, you, what are you doing, Millie? What do you think? You want pepper? Lucy, Finn, what do you guys want? You guys want some peppers? You guys can't have peppers. What are you getting so excited for? Anyways, that is our dove hunting episode. Ooh, you're going in for just, yeah, go just deep, go just deep in go it. In deep, yeah. Get get after it. That's big papa right wow. there. Wow. The silhouette's looking neat. This is good aesthetic going on right now. Oh yeah, that's great. You like that guy or what? You could rip out a piece of that dove if you just want to eat that dove. What's Hey, what's going on back there? Hot. That piece got... I can actually taste the dove in that one. Oh, it's really? Really, good, yeah. really? Okay. A little, little chewy. A little chewy? Yeah, I think it was a little... little... It over, it's overcooked. It was in there a little long. It, So we ended up putting it in there for 20 minutes when the recipe called for 10, 15, because I wanted to make sure the bacon was done. Again, it is a struggle with that thin of a piece of meat. If you get like duck in there, something big and chunky, it would be a little bit easier to keep it from being well done. But either way, if you guys want to cook some dove, good way to do it. Or you can just do what we do with some duck as well. If you're lazy, season it with some duck seasoning and wrap it in bacon and that's it. And then you get once, I mean, that one's kind of tough to get crispy too, but I cook 
cook it at the highest temp possible. Basically get the bacon a little bit crispy, take them off and it'll be medium rare. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's dove hunting adventure. I haven't dove hunted in a couple years and it was good to get some out at the farm. I hadn't really dove hunted. If you guys wanna see more dove hunting videos, maybe we do it in the backyard this time, maybe. Oh. <laughs> I just sneezed. I thought you were gonna sneeze. I did sneeze. You just sh your, your pants. <laughs> Leave that in. I sneezed in. Sh Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Literally. <laughs> the popper went right freaking through him. Good lord. <laughs> if you guys want to see us do a dove hunting adventure out here in the backyard, why are you laughing? Quit laughing. Is that thing make you laugh? What's going on there? You get her figured oh, out? They're laughing too, don't you really? worry. Oh, that, really? That's staying, don't it's you There's a lot of snow back here. Hey, you never know. <laughs> you not put anything you away. You never know when you gotta beat a raccoon's ass, all right? In case they come really? up on this deck. Oh my god. Hey, they come up on this deck sniffing around, I come out at you night. They're gonna get night? they're gonna get smoked and eat it <laughs> off the deck, all right? That's the strat. Anyways, if you guys want to see another dove video, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys have your favorite dove recipe or duck recipe, comment them in the description down below as well, or the comment section down below, and we'll read them and maybe we'll try it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace. I just sneezed I in thought you were gonna sneeze. I did sneeze. You just sh your pants.